Your work is not in vain, father. Show yourself. <laughs> You're wasting your time. Victor. Captain Price. I am not surprised. You are a dead man, Zakaev. <laughs> I started a war. Killing me won't stop it. Oh, I will kill you. But the fool will wait. All stations. Zakaev is dead, but the missile is hot. Nick, I need the cogs now. Copy. Here's the cogs, Big Slow. Six. Six. One. One. Five. Five. Say again. Nick. Say again. I've lost you, Nick. Bloody hell, Nick. The last digit. Seven. Seven. Six. One. Five. Seven. Call signs this net. Course is terminated. Mission accomplished. So a lot of us have seen this trailer for Modern Warfare and Warzone and assumed that the nuke event is cancelled, but it is not cancelled. I'm going to be bringing you evidence in this video to suggest why it's not cancelled and why we will still be getting a nuclear event inside of Warzone. I'm also in this video going to be touching on hackers in Warzone and do not worry, there is some good news coming that way as well. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. <laughs> But before we get into all of the nitty gritty with the hackers and with the Warzone nuclear event, first of all, I have a quick promotion for you guys. Over the last few days, you have seen all of this Wall Street bets, you've seen all this stock market action all come into huge flourishing, huge news coverage everywhere. Pretty much you can't go anywhere without seeing Wall Street bets, stock market or Wall Street, and a lot of you will now be wondering how to get into it, you won't be sure of what to do, how to learn, but this is where I come in. I trade something called the Foreign Exchange Market, and I've made a channel dedicated to, in fact, helping you guys become profitable traders in the foreign exchange market. This is perfect for beginners, this is perfect for intermediates, and even the slightly more advanced people can learn something from this. So if you're beginning your Forex journey or you're looking to get into the markets, this is the perfect place providing free education, finding Forex, helping you find your way in the currency exchange market. So first of all, let's actually talk about hackers in Warzone, it has been a huge problem, even from the get-go, we've had hackers running riot, and it's only getting worse and worse, it's in fact got so bad that the other day, Vicstar came out and actually said that he had given up on Warzone because of the hacking that was taking place, he also then went on to say later on in a tweet, that he is working directly with Activision to sort out a anti-cheat system. But to give you guys all an idea of how bad the cheating and the hacking is inside of Warzone, here is a clip directly taken from a stream talking to a hacker. Hey, well, you do know I am hacking, right? Oh, shit. No, I didn't know that. Wait, why? Because, okay. So, the game is so broken. There's so many hackers in this game. I was like, you know what? Let me try it out. And the only way that they're actually going to do anything about it is if enough of them get reported. Because eventually there's going to be more. You're going to join a lobby. There's going to be 147 hackers and three people. Oh, so like you basically bought hacks to be a part of like the rebellion. Correct. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so how long have you been hacking for though? Like how long do you think? Uh, approximately three and a half, four months. Wait, you've been hacking for four months and you still have not got banned? 
Oh, I've been banned multiple times. I have a rotation of about 30 accounts that I rotate through. This dude literally had 30 <laughs> accounts that he cheats on. He then goes on to say that you get shadow banned, but you only get shadow banned for like seven days, which a shadow ban isn't even a proper ban. And then they go on to look at your files and look at your gameplay to sort of assess if you've been hacking or not. And they can't prove it because they don't have the software. So then they get unbanned. So essentially what he's doing is he goes on one account, waits to get shadow banned, switches to another, waits to get shadow banned, switches to another, and then after seven days, each and every account eventually gets unbanned. That is how out of control the Warzone hacking is at the moment. But do not worry, Infinity Ward and Warzone have actually put a message of the day out on the game saying cheaters are not welcome. There is 24 7 security monitoring, all possible cheats, hacks reviewed, planned improvements in game and cheat reporting, 50,000 plus global permabans, more updates coming soon. And to be honest, I think it is a load of shit. I think that all of this is a PR stunt. After the fact that Vicstar has now quit Warzone because of this situation, leading others to also quit, I feel like this is a PR stunt to sort of improve the trust and instill the trust back in the community. And the only way that this is ever going to get sold is if they heavily invest in an anti-cheat system. And the only way they're going to do that is if they start losing money from it. And at the moment, it does not seem to be the case. And they only have 50,000 permabands. How many people do you think are actually cheating? One guy had 30 accounts. One dude. So honestly, as far as cheating is concerned, as far as Activision are going to do something about it, I personally don't feel like enough is being done. But let me know what you guys think. So at the start of the video, I showed you that little trailer clip from a season in Call of Duty. Essentially, what people are thinking is it's debunked the whole nuclear situation because in that very trailer, you see the nuke about to take off and then you see it get cancelled. And this led a lot of people to believe that the nuke event was in fact aborted. But that, I do not think is the case. Modern Warzone, who is a reputable source on Twitter for Call of Duty news and information, actually tweeted out that the nuke event is not cancelled but then proceeded to delete the tweet so i don't know what's going on here but there is actually some more evidence to suggest that we will be in a nuke event in warzone eventually and that is at the end of the trailer when they're talking they actually say that it's not over this isn't over not by a long shot Established to actual. So, what's your position? Half a click off the coast. Things are really heating up out here. Hold tight. We're moving your way. On me. So once again, this doesn't mean that it's 100% confirmed, but with Modern Warzone deleting that tweet, with them at the end of the trailer saying it's not over, it does seem like we may still be getting something to do with the nuclear event in Warzone. I would also like to add that they still need to somehow get rid of the Verdansk map, giving us a new map. Are we just going to one day have an update and then switch accounts or switch to a different map? Personally, I think that's quite boring and they could do a lot better things with it like they did when they revealed Cold War. They could do the whole in-game event. They could run the nuclear events all happening. I think that personally, the nuclear event is the right road to go down. It's a lot more fun. It's a lot more entertaining and it will get people on your game that have actually quit because of the hacking that you messed up on. But that's just my thoughts and theories on this entire topic ladies and gentlemen let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below if you are new make sure you're subscribing to the channel and if you did enjoy leave a like subscribe and all of that good stuff if you're looking to trade forex and financial markets this is the perfect place to get into i will be offering free training and courses on my finding forex channel this is free there is no alternative agenda i'm not going to say have this and then pay me this 
all for free. I've got a few videos coming up very soon and they are bangers. Do not worry. So find your Forex, help you find your way in the financial markets. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Lukey and I'll sign out. Peace.